Hello everyone, my name is Izzy and welcome to the second episode of my SSF series. We have managed to reach level 86 in like 9-10 hours after we killed Kitava. We <coughs> and we are farming the porcupine and the oat set. As Atlas, I have completed everything from tier 1 to 3. On tier 4 I only have Orc Yard, on tier 5 I only have Courtyard, on tier 6 I only have Phantasmagoria. These are the maps that we are farming, these three, to get the two sets that we need. So I think this is the best uh, strategy for it. Have everything completed, just so we can get to Wandering Path and Stream of Consciousness and drop a lot of maps while mapping. Unfortunately, the card drops are not as great as I was hoping for, but that's SSF, we're gonna continue farming. It is no issue. I think I have only one porcupine set. Let me check over here, porcupine. Yeah, I only, I'm only one out of six and oat, I don't think I have at all at the moment. Okay, so, For passives, this is the same tree I uh, initially thought of. I was hoping by level 85 to be done and respect, but as it seems like we're gonna be like level 90 when we do it. So, yeah, I'll just add more points into health and start going into these, this part of the tree over here where I can uh, then more easily I spec out of all this cold and cold damage and cold damage over time and spec into chaos for that aura. As gear we did change quite a lot. We managed to get uh, the cold dot multi craft so this is our scepter spell damage cold dot over multi it's pretty good. Just some res life uh, helmet. I went with a Titanium Spirit Shield because I needed uh, a lot of Energy Shield to sustain all these Cold Dots spells. We found the Greed's Embrace, we off-colored it and also found the Ventors. I'm hoping to get some loot out of these Orc Yards, hoping with all this one to get a bit more um, Porcupines, so that's why we did it. Life res on gloves, nothing interesting. The same badass heavy belt we found last episode. Some 30 ms movement speed boots with some resistances. Nothing else, nothing interesting, nothing crazy. Rarity, I like rarity. I'm a big fan of rarity since I am effed. I also did a lot of heisting. I am up to 16 regret orbs right now. As you can see, not much in other currencies, but that's why heist is good. You just get regrets, get alchemies. It helps you quite a lot early game. So I tend to just do my, do the quest contracts and do all the contracts I find at the beginning. You know, because we're gonna need a lot of regret orbs. I'm not sure how many didn't count them yet, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be over 50. Also found like 40 stack death. I opened them, but no, nothing interesting out of them. I'm using granite quartz, jade and quicksilver flasks for movement. And that's about it. Let's quickly jump into an orc yard so you guys can see what I am doing. I will not do the whole map over here in this video because uh, unfortunately because of our slow movement speed yeah, it takes a bit I also spec'd into shield charge just so we can go a bit faster but shield charge without big movement speed still feel kind of slow so not the greatest anyway the damage is there mobs are dying so that is not an issue. I just hope we would find. 
we would find our porcupine sets a bit quicker. Boss dead already. Out of completely clear the map. Yeah. This is gonna be interesting. Can't wait to switch to Death Aura. I'm really curious how I will how I'll get my washstones with it. It's gonna be interesting. Alright. I'll complete the map after. This being said guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for being here. It does mean a lot. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series too as I am playing it. And I'm going to be streaming and making videos a lot more often. Because last week we had BPL and I had a little bit of incident with my hand. It kind of hurt a lot after playing, you know, bow character, lightning arrow. Keep walking exiles. The next map awaits you.